While a fresh row over the disputed revenue sharing formula is emerging in the Senate over the composition of a select committee to spearhead deliberations, which is to be chaired by Wasan Gishu Senator Margaret Kamar. And TV is also learning of a meeting this Sunday at the home of Majority Whip Irungu Kangata to find a common ground ahead of another informal meeting on Monday morning. And TV's senior political affairs reporter Kennedy Muredi is still on this story. Efforts to forestall a further fallout over the disputed third generation revenue sharing formula have hit a snag with the composition of a nine-member committee set up to steer dialogue being called to question. It is understood the senators opposed to the adoption of the proposed finance committee formula are not happy with the choice of Uwasingishu Senator Margaret Kamar as the chairperson of the special committee. They argue that Kamar is an interested party in the matter and thus they would not settle for anything less other than Speaker Kenneth Lusaka chairing the committee if it must be there. Where do we expect to go from here? But Senate Majority Whip Irungu Kangata has defended Professor Kamar. There is a meeting uh, that has been set to happen in a time from now comprising of a small committee. Five from those who are supportive of the committee formula and five from the other side that is opposed to the committee formula. We hope we shall have one formula that everyone is going to support uh, by the end of this week. It is also emerging that Kangata has invited senators to a goat-eating party at his home to diffuse tension in the House this Sunday. Uh, I think that is something I wouldn't want to disclose to the public. The meeting is expected to discuss further amendments that have been proposed by Meru Senator Mithika Lenturi and Kericho Senator Aaron Cheriot. Those proposals are yet to be published, but uh, they are proposing that uh, unlike Mutula Kilonzo or Sakaja's proposal to have 316 billion as the baseline, they can uh, take it down a little bit so that maybe, for instance, you have a baseline of about 250 billion, what they are calling realizable revenue. And then from there you start applying uh, that generation uh, basis or formula. That way you ensure the benefiting counties benefit from the third formula, but on the other side you ensure uh, the so-called losing counties are not uh, losing so much. Kakamega Senator Cleofas Malala now says they must include the proposals by ODM leader Raila Odinga in the talks. We, are, we must have other parameters included, uh, parameters like livestock, parameters like the blue economy, uh, uh, parameters uh, 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 that had been uh, uh, not captured in the previous formula. Kangata, who is under immense pressure, has also retracted his statement on the handshake being at the brink of collapse if senators leaning towards Rai Laudinga would not support the committee formula. The handshake has been very, very supportive of this process. We have seen senators from the handshake support base coming out very strongly in support of various motions. So, so the handshake is not threatened? It is not threatened at all by this process. But as the standoff persists, governors are crying foul. We are urging the Senate to have a sober mind and ensure that no county loses money because they are size, because of the population, or because of their poverty index, because Kenyans are Kenyans and they require equity. We have not even gotten our allocation for June. Sasa tuko August, tano. We have not gotten our occasion for June. Tusijui July tutapata namnagani kwa sababu hakuna formula. Kennedy Muredi, NTV.